How's it going guys? Dan here from Hufigo Adventures and today is the day of the final 60th anniversary special for Giggle. So, there's going to be a lot to unpack in this one. So, <laughs> um, let's start off with what we know. So, Shooty Gatwa, the big one. Shooty will be making his debut in this story. Um, we think because the media got a 45 minute review copy that Shooty will be in quite a bit of it. Uh, presumably the last 20 minutes I think it is if he's if it's been a 45 minute cut 40 45 minutes um, so Shooty will be in quite a bit of it I do believe. Um, David Tennant's final special as the Doctor uh, which is very sad very sad to see him go there might be some very strong things happening in here uh, things that's probably going to split the fan base um, RTD has given us a warning that big things will happen in the story that it will divide the fandom and stuff like that which is a bit worrying the last time it happened was with the timeless child and I think it is a bit too soon for another big uh, controversy <laughs> but it's Doctor Who what's Doctor Who without a controversy we're also saying goodbye to Donna, hopefully not in a bad way. Um, the Noble Family return, we won't be seeing Wilf. Kate's back. Uh, Mel is back as well tonight. And Neil Patrick Harris makes his debut as the Celestial Toymaker, which is something fantastic to just say that we're getting a sequel to the Celestial Toymaker tonight. Oh, it's going to be a good story. So I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet. I was think oh I was thinking as well um, earlier stats for my reactions and stuff so I've reacted to this this is going to be my third Doctor that, that I've reacted to uh, second proper Doctor regeneration um, and it's just mad to think how far I've come my first reaction was listen uh, from series eight. And so that was series eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, flux, and the sixtieth as well. So technically about seven series, which is just mad to think. I think, um, but yeah, um, yeah. Let's uh, get going with this. So for giggle, hold tight, everyone, because this is going to be quite a ride. Roll the titles. Matt Smith! He's in this! Last time we've seen David and Catherine in the uh, titles as well. Is the logo still awful? Yeah, it is. Oh, Chibnall fonts, I missed it. <laughs> oh, good, yeah. You see, I remember seeing them shooting this, and I was so excited because. I could see how it was going to look, and it looked exactly the way I thought it would. But that just made me really happy. It's that shot of following David out of the alley. That's a line from Poison Sky. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's going to be amazing this episode. He's going to be a standout. I like how fast we're rushing into the action here, because we're literally about to see Kate. Um, of course, it's not an anniversary special without Unit picking up the TARDIS. But uh, I like how fast we're getting into the action. It makes me excited for the final section because there's obviously, uh, there's obviously going to be quite a bit of shooting. And Two days ago, I like that Unit is big the and back. In every country and all rising at exactly the same rate. Basically, every single human being thinks they're right and won't be told otherwise. Also, I love how Mel is the biggest open secret ever. Oh, we call it the Cedex. An invention of the Vlinks. What are you? Hello, the Vlinks. I'm the Doctor. So I need to show you. Is no one just going to explain Activate the robot the thing? Activating, ma'am. <sighs> Imagine trying that. They are using this to control us and monitor us. Trinity Wells! I am anti Zedex. She's got her own we show now. Over. Lose the background noise. Huh? Gives us a strong coherent wave in the seizure. That's better than Mel. <laughs> so this started too because I spent six months teaching my daughter how to play the recording. David Tokyo show. 
a giggle in everyone's head. <laughs> what is that thing? Oh, she found it's that. Bill. I traveled the stars. Good old Sablon Blitz. He lived till he was 101. Whoa. Died falling over a whiskey bottle. It's <laughs> a perfect way to go. <laughs> It's good to see uh, doing what she originally said she was good at, being a computer scientist. Where's he getting these balls from? That is the final ball of all. Yeah. Yeah. Enough. <laughs> you see, I always knew Neil Patrick Harris would be good. As oh yes. Oh. Celestial toy maker coloured charts. We meet again, Doctor. Here we go then. Action. Oh idiot. Absolute idiot. Oh, is that oh I just realised his head's Oh, that's good VFX. I thought I was clever. I thought I was clever. Oh my god. I wonder if we'll see David Bradley at all. I'd love to see like a bit from Hello. Celestial Toy Maker like, redone with David Bradley and Neil Patrick Harris. Where are you? You won't come home to me. Sometimes I wish we didn't have this Dis this Disney money to be able to do this. I just I don't. <laughs> now the sticky babies weep. The sticky babies can't sleep. Oh no. Oh my god. He met a friend called Amy Pot. And he loved Amy Pot. Yes, he'd be liking the redheads. And they went to and fro. Oh my god. Okay, Fasmin stands are gonna be fuming with didn't see Yaz puppet. I accept the challenge. I think Neil Patrick Harris is a bit of a magician, so I think getting someone like him is a brilliant idea because they can just, you know, do all the card skills and everything like that. The one who waits. Who's that? I saw it hiding, and I ran. What do you mean? That's someone else's game. Oh, I hate this. I hate stuff like that. One request, tell me. Do you turn that off, please? Who is that? Oh, I think he's here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's fantastic. Oh, he's everywhere. <laughs> As if... <laughs> That's if he's singing Spice Girls. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh. <gasps> also, T Davis. He's so back. <laughs> oh, there goes another unit building. No. He's not dying no, 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 no. You can do Surely not, like no. Him. I'm gonna be with it. So am oh I. my god, that can't be it. I'm, I'm just like that. It's time. I mean, there's still about 20 minutes to go. So, <laughs> are we going to see David Tennant regenerate like four times now? Pull each way. I don't know. It feels different hey. this No, no, by regeneration. It's actually happening. Why has he got no, not got no trousers on? 
Oh no, we're actually getting the by regeneration. No. God! I am completely me. I can't get over this. How did that happen? By generation. By generation. By generated. There's no such thing. By generation is supposed to be a myth, but <laughs> oh, he's so good. <laughs> Behold the game of the time lord. Oh my God, look at this. Dies and doubles I just and I dies can't get over this. Doubles. I could play this for a hundred years. I knew it about twenty minutes of shooting out over and, over again, and I'll never get bored because I challenge you to a game. Oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> There's two of you. Oh. <laughs> this is madness. <laughs> I really don't know what. Hey, I'm on your side. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I really don't know what to think of this. <laughs> no, but I'm. It's not. Oh. You can't. But I... Oh my God. Oh, what does that mean? I can't get over this. <laughs> oh, ah, the tooth. Okay. That's the Petrolink Shatterfly compensator. What? Move from there to there. Hyperdyne. Look at him in this TARDIS. Uh, All the devastation of Logopolis. Adric. Adric. Shoot out what you said, Adric. Ladies and gentlemen, Street to Gower just had Riverstone. All the people we lost. <laughs> Sarah Jane has gone. Can you believe that for a second? <sighs> I loved her. I can't bear this. I loved her. To come home. Oh, we both get a happy ending. I'm happy with that. We won the game. You get a prize, honey. <laughs> Here is mine. <laughs> Does it look different? They surely want to put another interior now, say. <laughs> jukebox? Ooh, jukebox. Oh. Orange or purple? What call is he going for? Goodbye, yellow. You? I like yellow. Yellow's homely. As if I would ever do that. Come here. I love you. Get out. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> oh. <yeah. laughs> oh, it's theme tune as well. And this is cauliflower cheese, which doesn't. Hang on, that shot of. It was there. Rose was from the opening of the Star Beast. Oh, for the eyebrow story. Oh yes. Oh. So. Oh, am I late? Sorry, oh. the door was no. closed. Oh, your whole family, darlings. I've never been so happy in my life. Oh. <laughs> he really needs an outfit. Destination? Christmas. And there we go. And introducing Shooter Gatwa as the Doctor. From menacing monsters to unforgettable oh, okay, heroes, then. celebrate 60 years of Doctor Who with wow. the Utopia <clears throat> book of... Oh my God. Merry Christmas. I'm the Doctor. What's up there? Goblins. <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> Time travelers are great. Like, wow. New Sonic. Hold on tight. 
Who are you? <laughs> Doctor Who Christmas Special, Christmas Day at 5.55 on BBC One and iPlayer. If all you want to is Okay, so that was <laughs> Jesus. Oh man. Just give us a minute. <laughs> so the by regeneration was true. Wow, and didn't actually think that it would be fully true to the extent of that. <clears throat> and honestly I don't really know what to think. I Right. Let's just rewind. We'll 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 get to it in a minute. So, I just want to talk first about Neil Patrick Harris as the toy maker. We'll work our way up. Neil Patrick Harris as the toy maker. Um, fantastic, brilliant casting and everything like that. My one of my little disappointments was with the way he was defeated. Uh, I know that it is. It's not the longest episode ever. It's only an hour, <clears throat> and there's a lot to obviously pack in. Uh, but I wish that he just got a bit of a better uh, ending. Um, like I really wanted to see some um, dramatics from him. You know, I really, I really wanted to see. You know, just how threatening and evil he can be. You know, killing someone or something like that. But obviously, he didn't and stuff. But uh, uh, defeated by a game of uh, catch, which. Um, Fair enough. It's it's a very RTD ending uh, for a character like that, isn't it? Uh, and there's gonna be hints of what's to come with that tooth. I bet it was a very I uh, I noticed the similarities to uh, John Sim at the end of Last of the Time Lords when his ring was picked up. Now I think I might have been talking during it, so apologies if I misheard it. Um, but the tooth, did he say it was the master? That he had like his soul or something captured inside a tooth or something, or because cause I heard him say the master, um, but I can't really remember the context of it. Um, so we could be seeing the master return, or a bit like what RTD did with the master's ring was just have it open for when he wants to get back to it or if he wants to get back to it. Um, so the regeneration was a shock. I, well, the actual death of the 14th Doctor was a shock. Uh, I really didn't see it coming. I, I, I think I did say and look at my watch. Like, oh God, there's about 20 m minutes to go. Uh, and then remembering how I said at the start, the press got a shorter copy of this episode. Um, so, yeah. Um, gosh. Um, what else? What else? So yeah, it was a bit of a shock um, how he died. Uh, well, he didn't die and stuff like that. Um, I do hope. <coughs> excuse me. I do hope it is explained why he by regenerated. Um, I, I I would like that to be a bit of a reason. Doctor Who's got a tendency to see for things just happening because they can, with no real reason behind it. Not just RTD or Chibnall not expl. Rain in the Timeless Child and stuff, but Moffat's done it, RTD did it in his first era, there's a history of it. So, um, let's quickly touch upon Mel. Amazing to have her here. Um, she didn't get that much screen time, but obviously we do know she is coming back next series, which is great. I would love to know how they're going to incorporate the 14th Doctor with the 15th Doctor coming back to Earth and stuff. Because if he comes back to Earth, it's a big world ending for wet, like there was in this episode, you know, everyone going mad and stuff like that. Is the, 15th, is the 14th Doctor just going to be sat at home like, I can't interfere, it's his go, you know, it's his Mr. Way to solve and stuff like that. Because that, I think, is going to be something that's going to linger at the back of my mind a bit um, when watching the next couple of series and stuff like that. Uh, maybe they'll say at the start of the episode, he's gone off, you know, he's gone off on some adventures and stuff. Um, I kind of love the fact it's kept open to keep Tennant so he can come back. Because he is good. No matter what you think of Tennant and stuff like that, whether he's overused and stuff like that, he is good. You can't deny he's not good and he's, you know, just fantastic in the 
role and a real good ambassador for it. So, yeah, it's um, going to be exciting to see how uh, the show continues forward with two Doctors kind of being on the scene. Obviously, Shooter will be the main focus, but will Tennant get his own TV show where he's working with Unit? Will they sort of merge the rumoured Unit show into sort of 10, 10, 14 and Unit kind of show? We'll have to find out. Now then, Shooty Gatwa. This is obviously the most we have seen of a Doctor in a past Doctor's story. In a previous Doctor's story, I mean. So not like with David Bradley until once upon a time. I mean like the next Doctor. Because when we regenerate, we've got about two minutes of school green time and then boom, end of episode. So this, so we saw a lot of him in this story. Um, and it's just... It, Wow, he's good. He's going to be amazing. Obviously, it's quite hard to sort of detect his doctor and sort of get a full vibe from him, which we, which we will in the Christmas special. But it's going to be exciting to see. Um, in terms of what I think about the bi regeneration, um, you know, when something that I first hear about happens, I sort of think, well, it's happened, no, I can do about it, man, so I just accept it and move on, like I did with the time of child and stuff like that. Nothing you can do about it, it's happened, M move on, you know. Um, I wasn't a fan of the idea when it was a rumour, the way it's been done in the story, though, has played a bit better, so, yeah, it's not too bad, but, yeah, we'll just obviously have to see if there's any more repercussions and stuff like that with it. Um, but, yeah. Um, that's it really. I really hope we end up seeing more of Donna and stuff. And she does get a job at UNIT. That would be nice to see. be nice to see Catherine Tate. It's always nice to see her when she pops up. So, guys, that is it. That is the 60th anniversary specials of Doctor Who. A brand new Doctor, a brand new era. And yeah, so, that is all for this time. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment. Tell me what you thought of this episode and the 60th as a whole, I'd love to know your thoughts. Um, yeah, and we'll see you on Christmas Day. Well, well, the, well, the video won't come on cool Christmas Day. You know what I mean. We'll see you for the church on Ruby Road, I should have said. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.